Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're back in the hospital super unexpectedly. We've been here for a few days. There's a lot to catch up on. Things have been kind of crazy. What's up, Kendall? Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you feeling? Good. Sore? Yeah. I'm sorry. Better each day. Do you have any jokes for us today? You do? Let's hear them. What's a foot's favorite fruit? What's a foot's favorite fruit? I don't know, what? Tomato. <laughs> and what fruit likes playing tug of war? What fruit likes playing tug of war? I don't know, what? Apple. <laughs> Good one. Golly, this poor kid just cannot catch a break. And to be honest, if you can't tell already from the low energy, we're tired. We are just tired. I'm tired, Brandy's tired, Kendall's tired. It's just never ending. So I didn't really film much over the last few days, but here's kind of the gist of what's been happening and what's going on and why we're here. She was having like increasing abdominal pain and uh, her temperature was rising and she ended up having a fever uh, and we ended up rushing into the emergency room here in Charleston at MUSC late Tuesday night. We got here at about 11 p.m. and that turned into doing lab work and x-rays and cultures and getting antibiotics going and all that kind of stuff. And then we moved up here to the 10th floor, the He Monk floor, which is like our home away from home. We got a little bit more settled. We got Kendall going on some pain meds and trying to get her a little bit more comfortable. And I think we finally were able to go to sleep at like 5 a.m. And then we spent like the next few days doing other scans, tests, swabs, CT scans, et cetera, trying to figure out what else might be going on. It was, it was clear to us pretty quickly that she had a skin infection called cellulitis and it can be very painful. Uh, and it was obvious looking at it, it's very red, it's very irritated. Um, it's very sensitive to touch even just her skin. But this infection is why she had the fever, but she was also having some other pains like lower in her abdomen that she was describing as more of an internal pain. Uh, so we wanted to rule out any other like internal mechanical GI issues because I was having flashbacks. We've been down this road before, if you remember, after one of the last surgeries, ended up in the emergency room and into an emergency surgery and she had this closed loop bowel obstruction. So we wanted to like cross all our T's and dot all our I's and making sure that we weren't missing anything like that. No visit is complete without chair. <laughs> huh. Looking for the snacks? Mm -hmm. Kendall's got them all. We're huh. on a goldfish diet. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but even more than the last I time I saw you. The last time, um, the last time I saw Cher, um, Miss Abby was giving her, like, the treats. The low-calorie treats? Yeah. It's like one calorie per treat. Mm -hmm. That's a rough life. <laughs> you see what he did there? Rough. Rough, rough. Dad jokes. <laughs> yeah, but I got better jokes, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to give her some? What are you sniffing for? Your treats. What's what do you think? Measure? She was like, if I get a little closer, that cookie might just slip off the table into my mouth. <laughs> she reminds me of Hannah. She doesn't stop eating. <laughs> yeah. Is little Cher here? No. Little Cher's at home? Because we didn't know we were spending Yeah. Time. So thankfully, all, none of those scans or tests really showed anything else, which is, I guess, maybe a pro and a con. It's good that there's no other problems, but bad that we didn't find anything that maybe we could like quickly fix and give her some relief. And I should have mentioned this before, but you know, lack of sleep. The reason this is such a big deal and to get her into the hospital as quickly as possible when she has a fever of 100.4 or higher is because she just did chemo last week. You guys saw that. So all of her counts, her immune system is completely wiped out right now. So her body can't fight this infection on its own. So it could like just kind of take over 
and go rogue or whatever. So it's extremely important that she gets to a hospital immediately and they get antibiotics going and try to figure out what's going on before it's like an even bigger problem. Being here also means we had to cancel our trip to New York for the radiation simulation. So uh, we're supposed to leave in a couple of days to do that. And unfortunately, uh, no one thinks that we'll be out of here in time. So we had to cancel the flights, cancel the hotel, got to reschedule the simulation appointment and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, the hits just keep on coming. That's just, again, it's just why we're so tired. It just doesn't end. All right, we got a mean game of Jenga going on. <laughs> this is the same crew. Do you guys remember like this early, like early crew. videos? <laughs> what were we playing? Trouble? Yeah. Okay, yeah, this, is, this is the game squad. <laughs> Don't get nervous. Just kidding, I'm, I'm a little shaky. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, it doesn't help that the table it's on kind of has a lean to it. No. Okay. Do you guys play where you can do what I'm doing? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you should, like try that. a bunch of different ones. Do you have something to do with this one? Okay, you don't want to give it a go? Uh uh. Are you sure? <laughs> no. I like watching. <laughs> You don't want to come in for the assist on one of these? <laughs> these other assists, maybe. Oh, God. Oh, girl, why did <laughs> you do that? <laughs> I'm not a good jingle player. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> 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 it was my finger. Oh, my God. 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 See what I mean? See how awesome everybody is here? Like, these are some of Kendall's favorite nurses. Not that she doesn't love all of them, but like she has a few that she's super close with that, you know, she's been around since day one. And that's the, the game squad, as I just referred to them as. And we've been out playing games with them in the past and it's, it's fun. It just feels like a, a little family, you know? It's like you're, you're hanging out with your cousins at grandma and grandpa's house or something and just playing games. So we definitely needed that. And we got to see Cher and, and hang out with the dog and. Kendall loves Cher so much, so. Anyways, so as soon as her immune system, her white blood cells, her ANC starts to recover from chemo, um, her body will be able to really fight this off on its own. Until then, we're using several different antibiotics to kind of keep this under control, keep it at bay, and just sort of manage status quo, if you will, as well as you know morphine for pain management and that sort of thing. So we're really just kind of playing the waiting game and hoping to get some relief soon but that's it thank you guys so much for watching this quick little update we are super grateful for you if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you aren't already see you guys in the next video peace